What role does poverty play in the development of non-communicable disease? Great question answered by Dr. Mimi Guineri on the Functional Forum. Why is it important as health practitioners? Because when we talk about the fundamental determinants of health, they're not about whether or not you need a stent. That's one small piece of the puzzle. The fundamental determinants of health are clean air, clean water, having shelter in a roof over one's head, access to health care, and having touch and love and a sense of community. These are the fundamental ingredients for health, and everything else is just an add-on to that. We know that the largest risk factor for cardiovascular disease is indeed poverty. And yet, as a cardiologist, I can assure you, this is the one that's least talked about. What we have learned over the course of time is that 70, 90 percent of these non-communicable diseases, what we see every day in practices like mine, whether it's cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, dyslipidemia, 70 to 90 percent of the chronic disease come from how we live our lives. Who we live our lives with, where we live, the resources we have access to, Yet the world is completely obsessed right now with the genome. And I think genomics are important for things like pharmacogenomics, and I'm excited about social, sociogenomics. But I have to say that when we look at the world, we need to look at what is our environment and how are we living, who are we living with. Yet we've taken all of these areas of healthcare that have been a challenge to us and we try to look at it in a very simplistic approach. We talk about the ill to the pill. You give me your ill, and I'll give you my pill. It's uh, how do we, you know, whether it's osteoarthritis and NSAIDs, which Dr. Dobos talked about, whether it's cancer and chemotherapy, uh, whether it's I have high blood pressure and I need a blood pressure medicine. What's fundamentally wrong with this thinking is that we are not getting to the underlying cause of the problem. We're not asking the simple questions, why is someone depressed? Are they depressed because they don't have sunlight? Are they depressed because they have a situation in their life? Do they have low levels of omega-3 uh, in their blood or low levels of vitamin D? Getting to the underlying cause of the problem is truly fundamental to the holistic integrative medicine approach and it's not an approach that says, take this pill for this disease. It's not reductionistic. And quite frankly, that's why I was so happy uh, to visit the clinic last night. And the whole anthroposophical medicine philosophy resonates very deeply uh, with these principles. Thanks so much for watching. And for more great clips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've created a special free video just for you. It's called the five steps to becoming a leader in your wellness community. And it'll give you some of the starting points on how to position yourself as the leader in your zip code of your health community. All you have to do is click on the link below.